He is buying coach Thomas Tuchel on the Sadio Mane situation. He says he has my full support. He had that before and he still has it after this mistake that he has made. Everyone has the right to make a mistake. It was important that it was cleared quickly and that he remained in training even if he has this one match ban. Kieran's still with us. Archie in touch joins us now to talk more about this. So is that it then, Archie? Is this all calm, all dealt with or are there some more issues surrounding it? Well, firstly, it's a very expensive mistake for Sadio Mane to make because it's reportedly cost him 500,000 euros in terms of a fine, uh, which shows you the level of inflation as well for punching a teammate because Frank Ribéry punched Iron Robin famously in the semi-final of the 2012 Champions League and that cost him 50,000 euros. So that's one thing to note for a start. Thomas Tuchel did a good job of cooling things in his press conference overall today i think he made a he made a good impression but i think the 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 racism element to this and with that being unclear there's been a line that's come out of bill saying that leroy sane had also said leave me alone but the context of that is not clear uh, in comparison as well with the uh, reported the alleged uh, racial slur that um, was, was said to have gone in the direction of Sadio Mane. So I think that's still very much there. Uh, the, the fortune that Thomas Tuchel has is that right now Bayern have a game every three days and they he needs to win a title uh, and it looks like there's only going to be one possible one given the, given the state of things. But yeah, things in Munich right now are still very much stormy, at least when it comes to the press. Look, you've got, uh, and you're out and a boxing ring with Leroy Sane and Sadio Mane uh, on the front page of one of the Munich tabloids here, the Abendzeitung. And then the other big question, which is being asked as well, do the bosses at Bayern have everything under control? So you're seeing very stern looking Hassan Salihamidzic there, the sporting director, Herbert Heiner uh, on that side as well. There he is. And Oliver Kahn in the middle, because it was these guys who decided to bring in Thomas Tuchel. And that hasn't worked out so far. So far. Now, yesterday we talked uh, with the guys about dressing room tussles, Kieran, and how often they do actually happen. Have you ever witnessed or been part of a locker room bus stop? Oh yeah, I've been been part of a few, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and name names. I'm not I'm not gonna be that guy. Sorry to uh, Stephen Shaka. I know people want me to probably release some stories, but. Um, no, nah, I've I've seen a few big ones, but the we best way to deal with it. I will say it was. Who were you, Shaq? I, I suppose the point is, Kieran, <laughs> even if you're not going to tell us, are they, are they more common than maybe we think? This is what the guys were getting at yesterday. Yeah, definitely. Especially in training, leading up to big games. You know, that was a big game. And Sadio didn't even start, I don't think. So, you know, the, he probably was a bit frustrated with that. I don't know if he had a niggle, but... Um, you would have thought that you know the devastation that he's caused in the in England over the years that he, he may have been a little bit frustrated that he wasn't uh, he wasn't on the pitch, um, and emotions just boil over sometimes. You know it happens, but I think Tuchel dealt with it really well. He he shut it down early. He's right. There's loads of games coming. They haven't got time to harp on over um, over over handbags. Yeah, let's talk about how the manager did deal with it, Stevie, because obviously the suspension's there for the weekend, but he has said, as we just heard in that quote, that he wanted to make sure he was incorporated straight back into training. Is that a good move? Absolutely, yeah. I don't understand why it wasn't left up to him, though, to decide what the punishment would be or the discipline. You know, the fact that upstairs has taken over and just said he's suspended a game, it's like, hold on a second, you try, you try to win the Bundesliga, it's your last chance of a trophy... And you're going to hamstring yourself. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, to me, it should have been down to Tuchel what happened. He should have had the last say. Now, the fact that he's got him in training, absolutely, I think it's a good move. Because the sooner they can move on. Because generally with these things, unless, which we don't know, there's a bigger racial connotation to it. But in general, when these things happen, you get on with it, you go training, it's forgotten about, and all of a sudden you move on. I, I have no problem with, with the guys upstairs. 
I'm getting involved in this, uh, to, to, to Stevie's point, and, and handing, down, handing down a fine or suspension or whatever it may be. I think while, yes, the uh, Bayern are trying to get just one title, I think there's a bigger picture issue for this. If it were to happen again, if it were to happen next season, to a player who doesn't have the, the status of, of Sadio Mane, the club have to set a precedent, and I, and I think they've done that. Um, it's as much as we were speculating about what was what was said, and, and there was some rumor coming out of, of Senegal or, around that. I think the way the club have handled it since, um, or even handled that speculation and, and not giving any gravity to it, I, I think has been very good. And keep in mind that a couple of weeks ago we were very critical of how Bayern handled the sacking of, of, of Nagelsmann and Tuchel coming in and the leaks coming out of the dressing room or wherever it was in the club. This time around, they kept everything tight, everything um, in-house. And that's how I think big clubs should react. They clearly learned from, from whatever errors took place a, a couple of weeks ago with Nagelsmann. And I think this, this time around, with this incident, they've, they've done it all by the book as best as, as can be expected. Yeah, a couple of things there as well, Archie, just to, to clear up how those decisions are made, if that is made clear by the club and who makes a decision on what the punishment would be. And also just the vibe around Bayern right now and the feeling about Sadio Mane's season there. So it was put to Thomas Tuchel about whether there was a catalogue of fines as was discussed under... Julian Nagelsmann, because it was asked what would be done with the money uh, which Sadio Mane will be fined. Uh, and it's not clear yet. Thomas Tuchel said he hadn't thought about that. But in terms of the structure of that, that that's remains unclear from, from my vantage point right now. When it comes to Sadio Mane, I think um, just building on what Kieran was saying as well, in terms of he would have been disappointed to, to not start a game back in England. There's another aspect as well, the, the human aspect of... The fact that it's been reported his aunt died and passed away uh, last weekend as well. So he was, um, I think, very emotionally distraught because of that as well. And yeah, to move back to the football side of things, things haven't been going well for him on the pitch. I think that there was a huge amount made out of his signing in the summer because of Robert Lewandowski departing. There was a superstar gap to be filled. And in terms of status, he filled that. The problem is he's not really fit into the way that, that Bayern have played because of that fluid way that the Liverpool front three worked um, worked together when they were at their best. Bayern haven't really had that set up. And I think that that's been a problem. Of course, the long injury layoff that he's had as well has, has really affected him. And the fact he's not scored in 2023 either. Thomas Tuchel has been saying even before this moment, all he needs is a goal to just go in off any part of his body and his confidence will start building up again. But right now, he's really struggled to be integrated into the team. And the, the other consequence of this is what it means for the sporting director, Hasan Salihamidzic, because he hung his hat on this signing. It was the mega signing of the summer for Bayern. There was so much made about all the things that Salihamidzic would do and did uh, to get Sadio Mane, whether it was dancing on a Mallorca nightclub floor, I think it was, uh, to <laughs> with his agent to to get the deal done, uh, or or saying to Mane that he put his head through a wall to do anything to get him to sign for Bayern, and if this transfer flops and it's going that way right now, then I think with all that's gone on with the Tuchel decision as well, Sally Hamicic or indeed Oliver Kahn. Uh, the chairman, I think their positions are under threat. Yeah, and obviously some of these interviews, uh, Archie can confirm that because he's actually asked the person directly about this dancing on the nightclub and it's been confirmed. Did he, That's ask, been on our broadcast. Did he ask him while he was in the nightclub? <laughs> no, not while he was in All the right, nightclub. Right. He asked him afterwards. <laughs> I, I saw it with my own eyes. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.